Hello and welcome to another episode of Games with Zane. We are playing Stellaris and we are going to reattempt our playthrough as the Zelvan Imperium. Uh, last time we got into a situation where we weren't paying attention too much to our own fleet maintenance and uh, we were expecting our Federation and our allies to kind of help us out a little bit but it just wasn't quite enough to uh, protect us. We may be focusing more on uh, uh, upkeeping our own fleet, making sure that everything is uh, nice and up to date. Uh, one change that I have done to this species is I have changed their uh, faster than light method of travel to wormhole travel. Uh, I played around with it a little bit and I like the way that that works. Uh, and in the meantime, I've created two new civilizations or uh, species. And we are going to definitely have one in, and one is allowed to be in. And we've also put in our previous uh, created species to go into this playthrough. So other than that, everything else is basically the same. We're going to select them. Uh, did a longer playthrough and noticed I started getting a little bit of slowdown towards the end of that game. And so yeah, I've reduced the size of the galaxy. Beyond that, uh, and increase the number of habitable, wor habitable worlds just by a touch. Not by much. I think. Other than that, everything else is the same. So let's uh, jump into it and see what we get. And in this playthrough, we're probably going to be doing a little bit less talking uh, it depends on whether or not it's something new something that didn't appear in the last playthrough but uh, this should be the same and if you would like to see the previous uh, series see the uh, the epic failure after it was uh, starting out so good uh, I will put a link to that but let's uh, let's just jump into this so we have things to do so let's start by getting an admiral so you've got, mm, I guess we'll go with a leader experience gain. They are kill speed, light speed. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll go with speed. He, he's also the youngest. So we are going to split this in half and split this in half. And the next thing that we will do Let's take a quick look out and take a look at, ooh, we've got something already that we could inhabit a very, fairly large system. So let's, uh, let's take you. I've got a lot of systems within reach. Oh, there's another one. It's just a little slightly smaller. So yeah, let's begin taking a quick reading of some of these star systems within my range. That one is out of it. We'll talk to you. And you. We'll start swinging back and forward here. And then you can basically do the same with these. We'll be able to scope out our territory a bit faster. Okay, and then with our science ship, you can go ahead and survey this system, and then we will survey this one next. And then that one. Then we'll get the rest of these that are within range. Just like that. So there we go. Let's take a look at our research. What have we got? Uh, the power plant straight away. It's beautiful. Let's see, we've got our labs. The influence right away is also beautiful. And the mining network right away. Beautiful. Lovely. Then we will let this run, see what we have in our starting system.
Great, we were we are going to want to start off with uh, some energy. We need the energy to be able to build more stations. Let's take a look at the surface here. We can really upgrade, but there are we've got plenty of food. Uh, we'll leave that be for now. It will get better at uh, dealing with anomalies soon. So what we can do is go ahead and move you to one of these. Uh, we've got alien species, enigmatic spacefarers. Yeah. Would this happen to be? Those are most likely the space whales. Don't know for certain, but most likely. There's some energy credits. Let's go and begin building on that. Where are they at? Right there. Let's build our mining station on it. That anomaly. You're still not great. We'll leave it be for now. It's nice we've got a few anomalies within our home system. Well. First Armada reports the fleet encountered significant pirate presence in the Liz system. Oh my goodness! That is a significant pirate haven. Wow. And you're already engaged, you're gonna die. How nice. So we've lost our Admiral right away. And boom, just like that, yeah. Just like that. Let's take a look at you then. Let's get an Admiral going. Uh, what's this? Ship hole points. Leader experience gain. We'll go with you. You're the next youngest. You've got leader experience gain. See if you can't get... Ooh, what's this? A tropical world. Now, what are the 10k, 7k? Wow. I hope they stay put, because otherwise that's just going to kind of kill my beginning run. Got a mining station done. How much further are we from getting six months? So let's go ahead and do a second mining station. Then from there, lovely. So then from there, we will see about uh, getting some colony ships out. That was fast. The Tiresian Concordant. This is our... So we've encountered artifacts. Yeah, this is artifacts from a, another civilization. Uh, they died from some sort of plague. Precursors. Tiresians. Interesting. So we have to recover artifacts for that. And they will appear in time. You are not doing anything. These have been discovered... No survey information is what that's trying to say. Okay. Let's go there and check out the survey information. Need a trait gain. Anomaly fail risk is reduced by a whole lot. That's very nice. And with the construction ship, you can finish up the mining stations. How far away are we from that? One month. Wow, construction ship. This is going to hostile hijack fleet in Panasu and is currently attempting to evade them. Okay, centuries ago, a group of radical priests 
and other devoted followers of Gnostic Prime broke away from the established religions to form their own church. These extremists called themselves the True Path. They have been responsible for many atrocities and acts of terror over the years. Although they have kept a low profile in modern times, we recently learned that many of their agents have infiltrated our military. These renegades have secretly been diverting resources to the construction of a small fleet of starships. At a hidden facility on Panasu Prime, when their treachery was revealed, the cultists blasted into orbit on their ships and fled to Mondak's retreat. They must be stopped. So what have we got here? A small fleet and both my ships are back and they won't be able to do anything against it. Alright, cultist ship disabled. Our Valiant Space Forces have skillfully disabled a ship in the cultist armada. It, it is mostly intact and we are picking up faint life sig signs from inside the hull once we have eliminated all threats in the immediate vicinity. We should conduct a boarding operation to secure any survivors. They may be able to tell us more about the ultimate modems of the true path. Okay. So we've got here. What do we need for that? One military ship in orbit. Well, let's have you guys go ahead and do that research project. So now we've got traditions available. We've, we will do prosperity to reduce our mining cost. So you, you can finish building mines here. Really, again? What's going on? Okay. So it's this. Debris in Panasu. Let's do the research project. Then you can carry on with what you were doing. You never finished what you were working on. You go and finish that. Boarding action. Though the survivors offered stiff resistance, our boarding party was able to secure several prisoners from the disabled cultist starship. From them we have learned that this conspiracy goes far deeper than we initially suspected. The agents of the true path include several flag officers and high-ranking officials within our government. Mass arrests are being made on Panasu Prime, and all assets belonging to the cultists have been seized. However, several of the starships they built in secret remain unaccounted for the upper echelons of the cult's leadership have vanished. We have picked up faint ion trails leading to several outlying systems. We must pursue these terrorists. Okay. So we should track all parts of this on the map and take a look out. Okay, there they are. So most within our realm, others are not. Okay. What was that? That was interesting. Lots of explosions and flashes of light out here. So they have finished what they were doing. You guys can... You have already moved out here. No, no, this fleet is not going to be enough to deal with anything. So why don't we go ahead and start building more corvettes. That has done that. What's our science ship doing? Still doing research. Okay, space torpedoes, red laser, fusion power. Lovely. What's this? Why is there something there in the center? Can we get there? I doubt it.
Yes, hopefully. You should be a rally point. You are coming in, we will merge you together. Okay. So we're always going to be He's the first arm the so we're always going to have the second armada up top. Um we'll leave it be for now until you gain a little bit more skill. It's good that it's there. What planet's it on? Down here. Okay. Let's go ahead and see about getting a little energy. So it'll be a long time before we do anything with this. Space poor has finished what it's doing. Very good. We are at 110. Have a little world survey. Let's go for it. <laughs> Let's take a look at the surface here. It's a nice big planet. What have we got? Atmospheric hallucinogen. How lovely. Society output. Happiness output. Happiness increased. That's very nice. Nice, big, wide open spaces. Fair amount of electricity. A little bit of mining, not a whole lot. Speaking of mining, we should take a look at what kind of... There's not. There's one more mining facility on Panasic Prime. And that's it. But why don't we go ahead and build a power plant here. And probably a couple more Corvettes. So you should be a rally point. We'll merge you together. Lots of energy here. Let's head out to Najaga. Sure. See what we've got there. See if that's where the pirates went. Cultist Marauders encountered. Battle stations. How strong are they? Roughly the same strength as me. Let's go ahead and get more Corvettes out. So they're coming in. We've got several more than them. Boom, boom, boom. So they don't have any shields either. That's great. No one lost. Lovely. So we should send our science ship out to do the research project and carry on with what it was doing. Our construction ship. You can return to heal. Our construction ship then. can put a mining station there. Then we should be set to do more mining if we can. That one's on the planet that we plan on inhabiting, so that's probably not going to get us anywhere. Mining network, lovely. So our Mata has been repaired, let's go ahead and do a level 2 spaceport. That matches that, that's lovely. 7, 10, great. New traditions available. Uh, ship cost, building cost reduction. 
We're not ready to build research stations yet, so let's go with the ship and building cost reduction. Nothing special about the surface here. Got a little bit more uh, mining going on than in the other planet. Construction ship is done. So why don't, since we're in a little lull, hopefully that was our pirate event. But even if it's not, we should have enough to take care of any pirates. So let's see about getting some colony ships out. Very nice. That would be our power plants. So we've got to do research speed next. That matches, it just it speeds everything up. And then we will probably try and go for the shields. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what else we get that is useful. Getting good stuff out here. Uh, we're going to leave it be for now. The construction ship can probably come and do some mining there that will increase our materials, our minerals for a little bit. Let's see, monthly influence, very nice. Let's go with the hydroponic farms, I guess. None of these look really useful, great. Um, so both of those, the naval capacity and the army upkeep help our or match our guy's specialty. Um, something I'm going to do hydroponics. It is more immediate. And with what we've got, I'm going to change our policy on food. Food stockpiling, minimal. Let's go to balanced. See if we can't bring that up. So let's see. We've got encourage free thought. Research speed increase. Let's slow the others down and increase one. Hmm. Not sure if we're exactly ready to do that. Get some buffs to our ethics attraction and then we'll turn on the research speed. So we want to try and make it up to another colony, at the very least, and then increase our mining capability. So this is the only other tropical planet within range of our wormhole generator. You should be moving here, I think. How much does it cost us to build colony ship? Just under 300. There we go, let's get that colony ship out. We'll send you here, even with the ethics pool. Ooh, it is a lot, though. System survey complete. So why don't you go ahead and survey this planet. Survey the whole system. So you may go ahead and colonize that, because these two are, are mine. They're just straight up mine. See what the cost to... Uh... Oh boy, more ships. 
Well, why don't you come on out? You can attack them. So the cultists may be in every one of those star systems. But why'd you stop? You were told to come and attack. Because you can no longer see it doesn't mean they're not there. This will be probably even. Fortunately, both of us don't have shields. So I lost one. Lovely. Cultist fleet destroyed. You can go home and repair. The science ship can survey the system and then do the research project. I'm sure it will be fine. More explosions. Okay. So we got a colony ship. Does it tell us how much it would cost? We can't, it has not been surveyed yet, so no, it won't tell us how much. Well, it's only a minute. This should be there shortly. Mod is repaired. Let's get probably a couple more uh, Corvettes out onto it. Yeah, our Corvette cost is drastically reduced now. Go ahead and fill that up. Ooh, for society research. 118. Titanic life. Interesting. Surface, we'll go ahead and colonize it. And I think right there, yeah, right there will double most of the neighboring tiles. I'll leave it be for now. You're still not quite ready to start doing research on those. Got another anything that we can do. So let's see, building upkeep, reduce amongst private colony ship. <coughs> Which do we spend more on right now? Building maintenance, five. Ship maintenance, a lot more. So let's see about reducing our ship maintenance then. think we gain a fair amount quickly. Lovely. Great day for the Zelvan Imperium. We got some more minerals in here. So our construction ship can probably go ahead and is that one that's on the planet though. Right here you do good to build both of those. Increase things just a touch. Delta aliens. Okay. One of those is a construction ship. The other is a science ship. Is we've got a, uh, we've got neighbors. Oh, we're going ahead and building a colony. We've gotten a couple of unity traditions done. Space torpedoes, fusion power. 
Red lasers. Excellent. Science ship, you should do more things. You should probably do a bit more surveying on the couple of star systems that could be in range between these two. Alright, I think that is where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. We will see you in the next episode.